12-year-old Lindsay is having a pitsy summer. Her father has gone off to Australia on work and has left her in California with his latest girlfriend. Then, suddenly, her great-aunt Marie Celeste invites her to the South Pacific to spend the summer. The aunt reassures Lindsay that there will be other kids visiting their relatives there. Lindsay says yes, but mainly to get away. With her father's permission, she goes to visit her aunt. But Pensioner's Paradise holds dreadful mysteries. For example, there's nobody on Pensioner's Paradise between the ages of 13 and 69. Nothing but Shakespeare-loving oldies and their visiting youngsters. If that weren't bad enough, there are exotic animals and temperamental robots everywhere. And there's a horrible thing called the Jedgar living on a volcano on the nearby island of the Inferno. He could blow them all away. Afraid for their lives, the kids start investigating, hoping to solve the situation. Try to find something with a Shakespeare connection? Yes, yeah, sure. Maybe we'll run into Romeo. <laughs> hey, Rihanna, look, there's a poem tacked to the greenwood tree. Wait till I have my sneaker. It's a love poem, and my name is on it. My real name, Rosalind. Read the poem aloud. From the east to western end, no jewel is like Rosalind. Her worth being mounted on the wind through all the world bears Rosalind. Corinna, but why would it want to attack me? I, I haven't the foggiest. And what stopped it? Hey, maybe that poem that you were reading did it. Oh, that's Shakespeare, all right. Maybe it can't stand to hear Shakespeare. Rihanna, is that the only gorilla thing? I mean, what if there are more? And they're all stalking me? Uh, I don't know. There are probably plenty of robots and exotic animals on paradise. How am I supposed to distinguish whether it's a real gorilla or a robot? Can't we test it? I've got an idea. Try walking around it. Go really slow and don't get too close. Down, up and down, I will lead them up and down. I am feed in field and town, goblin lead them up and down. Rihanna, look at that. It really is a robot and not a real gorilla. Yeah, it seems like we made the thing redundant through Shakespeare. Like, maybe it can't stand to hear Shakespeare? But why did a robot come after me? Dunno. 
Alpha and Olivia. Hi. Hey Olivia, it's Rihanna. A robot that looked like a gorilla just tried to attack Lindsay. We stopped it by reciting some Shakespeare. Anyhow, it's now lying on the floor as if it were dead. I doubt it will get up again, but what do you think we should do? It sounds like you're running to a robot. You know, a robot that looks like a gorilla. It's called a robot. But don't touch anything. We don't want anyone to mess around with the evidence. Let's keep everything clean. Rita and I will come right over and get everything that is back here in our laboratory. Please remember to leave all alone. Exactly as it was. Got it? Yep, sure. Just like police work. Bye! Bye.